Good day everyone, welcome back. Ooh, ooh. Design less model for Singapore, gardens by the bay, the flower dome and the cloud forest dome. These are the some images and technical details. The flower dome is 170 meter by 86 meter and 35 meter in height. Forest dome is smaller in plan, 118 meter by 77 meters. But much taller at 54 meter height. Let me make reference to this image plan and scale it for model creation. This switcher looks like this gas protection respirator or sunglass or insect big eye or this thief marks or this ball. What you see it, what you get it. Anyway, what I see, what I get is this image plan only. Without further ado, let's start for model creation. Let's start with Autodesk Revit. To create a new project using architectural template, need to insert image for reference. Select image, this image, open it. Place it here and select the image and to scale it. Draw a model line from scaver from here. This model line copy 60 meter to the right and select the image to scale RE for shortcut from here to here. Make reference from here to 60 meter model line here. Now the image is with the scale. Go to project browser, navigate to southern elevation and create two new levels. This level one we name to hangar plant. Corresponding you? Yes. Let's keep in name cloud forest to drone R and flower drone to drone L. Level two we name to drone R. Corresponding view Yes. And level three as well we name to drone R arch. Corresponding view Yes. And level 2 data change to 58 meters and add another 5 meter more, 63 meter. Navigate to level 0 to create hyperbolic shape in plan as well as in elevation. Most easiest way is model in place mask to form the hyperbolic shapes. Let's create a mask. Go to menu, architecture, component, model in place, choose mask. And we need to do R. Then we need to place a point on the surface at the end. One, two, three. Three points. Another three points on the middle. One, two, and three. And the other three at the, the other end. And first three points, select it. And connect with the subline through point at the middle three point. Connect with the subline two point at the end. Also connect with the subline through points. Go to 3D. Before finish the mask, we need to adjust middle point elevation. See elevation. Select this and put it up at the middle section. Select for the midpoint and put it up. And the other end, select and put it up. And finish the mask. The message pop up. The geometries are formed without mask created. Ignore it. Go to level 0. Select session marker to create session. From here to here, angle shape handle to adjust view range. And go to southern elevation, select all level data. And right click, maximize 3D extent. Navigate to project browser slash session one and we name to dome R and adjust view elevation range and shortcut blue for multiple windows select mask to edit in place and select the mask then dissolve it to adjust hyperbolic curve. Select the middle point. See at the southern elevation. And 
and put it up as the elevation for the points and put it to the right and put it down adjust the lever and position as required and then select all geometries fatal only lines for the mass select it and create a solid form then finish the mass and select above two level details copy is it below and we need to another dome dome L arch for the flower dome and this data will be dome L level data values will be 38,000 and 53,000 uh, should be 41,000 all right perfect for the all data levels Let's continue for the new mass at the left for the flower draw. First, we need to create for the session. Select session marker, place from here to here, and create session and adjust the view range. And go to architecture, component model in place, select mass. And we need to draw L. Go to menu, create a point on the surface, first three points at the end, at the middle, one, two, and three at the in front session marker, and the last will be at the near end, one, two, three, and select these three, and connect with the supply two point at the middle three point, connect with the supply two point, and then and first three point, select connect with the supply two points and go to project browser this section to marker we need to draw L and open draw L elevation duty for multiple windows and select the point admit adjust it for the C elevation as required select for the middle points break it up and the other end also adjust the elevation and to adjust elevation range for the tone L go to 3D select the mask and then edit in place and adjust the elevation Z elevation and also adjust as necessary to the right the right and select three, three lines for the mask and then create a solid form and and the mask now what do you have it masses all right time to create cut-in system select the mass at the right create system at the left mass also create cut-in system currently created cut-in system 4 by 4 grid select the cut-in system at the right modify to 33 by 33 grids at the left 40 by 40 grids after create a cutting system need to modify Boolean size to be used in the cutting system go to architecture million grid lines or grid lines in property windows edit type duplicate the types we need it to 200 by 400 Then to import for the thickness 400, which will be 200, 100 plus 100 from the center, and OK. Apply to all grid lines and delete the type for the smaller grids. Malian and Kate system are created, and apply to all grid line for the Flower draw mass at this system. 
Now time to save the project. Save at the desktop. The name will be Flower Draw and Cloud Forest. Save. Select all elements and filter and check marks. Then OK. Right click item U elements. Select elements. Now we have left only two masks in view. These switches are columnless. Flower dome F lab having 16 hyperbolic hanger beams. And cloud forest dome at right hand side having 12 hyperbolic hanger beams. Let's create two new masses for roof hanger masks. Go to menu, architecture, component, more in place mask. Choose mask, then OK. Rename to dome L arch. And place each three points on their surface approximately in line with the first hanger beam direction on their plan. Start from this point, stamp position. First point, second point, third point. Continue for second arch. For the three points, place on stamp, first, second, follow this direction, and third. Finally, third three points will be stamp. 1, 2, and 3. Select first 3 points, connect with their supply through points. Again, for their second arc, 3 points, connect. And finally, the last 3 points, connect with their supply through points. For the take the view, select points at the middle. Select the point, drag up and down, and left and right. Make adjustment to suit the shape and level details above previous cutting marks. Then select three supply, create a solid form, and select the mass and divide the surface for the dome L having 16 hyperbolic beams. So U grid will be 16, and B grid will be 3, should be set to 5 for the nice hyperbolic capitals. Then apply. Click on this arrow for the surface representation. Check on the notes, then OK, then finish the mask. Perfect. Continue a new mask for a dome R. Go to menu, architecture, component, model in place. Mask again, you need to draw R arch. Same procedure. Place each three points on the surface. Follow the hyperbolic beam direction. Place one, second point, third point. At the middle, first point on the plane, second point, third point on the plane. First point, second point, final three point on the plane. Oh, no, points placed on incorrect level. No worry, to select all points, select correct level at hangar plane, right position now. Select first three point, connect with the supply two point. Second three point and third three point also, connect with supply and select middle points and just level and direction. Oh, the levels are too low in position. Let's make adjustment. Then select three supplies. Create a solid form. Then finish the mask. Select the mask, divide the surface. This one to have 12 hyperbolic beams. So U grid will be set to 12. V grid will be same as 5 grids. Apply it. And finish the mask. Then select the mask, turn on the node on the surface. Alright, pretty good. Nice form. Shortcut HR, high element for cutting wall system. This is what we completed for modeling. Now time to create parametric hyperbolic beam family. Go to menu, new family, use matrix general model adaptive family template. Open. When the mass surface created, we set five divided two grids. So we need to create five adapted points. Place on the five points on the face. 
select all, make them adapted and connect with the supply through points. Place a point on the face. Set particle working plane using tab key. Use model line to create rectangle profile. Select profile, move midpoint, MB for move and create a parameter. The for dimension here to here and set equal and overall dimension and the for dimension again select this and create a parameter type parameter will be fine and parameter will be t select another create a new parameter type parameter parameter name will be p okay select all elements including points and all dimension and co for copy place here and select points pick a new host on there place it on the reference line select two profile together with part create solid form select more elements go to properties hit three dot to create a new material parameters hit new name will be arc hanger materials and OK, then OK. Select this first point and go to properties window. Normalize cut parameter value set to 0. And the point at the other end set the value to 1 for the ratio. Now we have created parametric arcs being in full length. Currently, the family name is family 3. Load into the project. Now new family three hyperbolic beam family is in the project. Sorry, accidentally place it in. Okay, leave it first. Select all elements by windows and filter and check for the genuine borders and marks. Shortcut H for temporary hide the elements. Apply okay. Type to install family three parametric parabolic arcs hanger beams. Go to far, edit in place, CM for placing component. Place on face, place on there, no by sequence. First pin is installed. Followed by second pin, place on the node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by sequence. Or there, trend numbers of arcs hanger pin to install. To install last pin, yes, finally complete installation for the drone L Cloud Forest drone structure. Let's continue for the drone arch R. Select the mask, add it in place. This time to place to the all 16 numbers of pins. Place on there the divided surface nodes. One pin each five points to install. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, Let install final B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well done. Complete installation for parametric hyperbolic arc hanger beams on the drone R and drone L, which is flower drone and crop forest drone. It finish must to complete the process. Shortcut HR for hitting element review for the cutting wall system. This is what we have done for the draw model. Select the mask over on the one of the beam and tap for the select as a ball, select all beams and go to edit 
and edit type, edit for the materials. Open material browser, choose paint white lining, blind it. Shortcut BB or BG for visibility graphic control. Look for the mask and uncheck I for the mask. Let's quickly create for the floor and basic water. Continue create for the pub and grass lawn. And base water to be create. And access roof to what lobby to create and columns as well. Also place it in underage such as human figures and plants. Finally, let's quickly render for the models. All right, now complete for Singapore's flower drones and cloud forest drone and you shall switch a model creation. Thank you for visiting OOU and see you in next model creation. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye.